Hey guys, this is Shiny Zach Robin. Welcome back to the second part of this video. In this part, as I said in the first, we are going to go and cover Mineral Cavern. Now, Mineral Cavern, like I said, is going to be a very, very quick dungeon. Uh, it takes a little bit to get to town, but trust me, you're going to want this because this is actually going to be two back to back things that happen. Um, I'm probably, after we complete Mineral Cavern, we're actually going to cover the dungeon after it right away. I'm not going to leave, I'm not going to walk away or anything, I'm just going to head straight there and go right in the dungeon right after that. So yeah, as you can see, we're kind of passing by a lot of weasels, so if you want to get like a weasel or anything, go ahead and get, but as you can see, Rock Smash and Cut here. I will mention this. The HM in the dungeon. Oh. You need Surf first off. Oh, I kind of mentioned it. Yeah, we're going to be getting HM Surf in this video. But right here, there is a shortcut to get to another, the dungeon after. I think you guys aren't going to be able to read what it was via the thing I just kind of put on, but you know, whatever. So yeah, make sure you have something that has Surf ready to go, because you're going to need it. So, let's head in. Mineral Cavern. You have a few recruits here you can get. And they're within, like, the high 20s, I think, in terms of level. But the recruits you have here include Meryl, Azumarill, Corfish, Pink slash West Shellos, Corfish, which is the first time you've actually seen this, Slowpoke, Psyduck, and another new one, Shuckle. Now, Shuckle, I believe, is the only time-exclusive Pokemon in here. But, it's not really the best, because it's more so a defensive Pokemon. In PMU, you really want to have, like, offensive kind of sets, because they just really help. This dungeon is, like, 30s in terms of levels, so it's nothing really too difficult for our level since we're 40 but I got to 40 because the dungeon after is definitely going to require us to get a little bit of experience for it and here's Shuckle right now actually not oh, any wrapped me meanie anyways there is one other thing I can talk about here because this place is just a really kind of bland and straightforward dungeon you get to the end to get surf and get to the dungeon after. However, if in the water you see a sparkle, go up to it and you can actually get a Eviolite. So, it's another way to get Eviolite, but it is rare water sparkle, so more than likely you're not going to find it. But, yeah, that's up to you. And there's no eggs in here, there's no silk chamber box, and there's no secret rooms. It's just a straightforward dungeon, get to the end of it. That's all. Now, I'm lagging a little bit, so sorry if uh, it looks like things are going kind of slow. That's why. Well, let's take this, actually. Oh, wow, it just warped us up from that room. Thanks. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Anyways, let's uh, continue on. Like I said, this is a quick video because we're already halfway through with the dungeon. I mean, there's apples and ethers you can find around here. And actually, right down there is something I should uh, just show off and give a quick mention to. But you'll find this in a 4F floor somewhere. It really does nothing. It's just there for kind of show. Like, you may have seen some different things in uh, Lanao Cavern. That's kind of the same thing. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, this is a good place if you want to get like a higher level Psyduck and not want to have to bother hatching one. Just to get it for Cloud9. That This is probably the dungeon you want to go with. Otherwise, I really do suggest getting the Refresh on because besides the Cloud9, you get a nice bonus of Refresh. But otherwise, if you recruit the Psyduck here, you're going to have to maybe fork over some heart scales to hopefully get refresh. Regardless, we're just going to keep trekking on. Because we're kind of just getting through everything. 
there's a sufficient amount of apples here, so you really shouldn't have to uh, worry about not getting any uh, anything. Or I should say, you shouldn't have to worry about apples. I'd bring your own ethers and whatnot because you may or may not have to um, use one or two of them. I'm kind of just killing stuff to, you know, get some training done because that's actually something I wanted to address. Um, the reason I'm using Laron in a water type dungeon right now is the fact in the ho next couple videos, probably by the end of the next one, I want to get Laron up to level 42 so I can I can evolve it. Now, the reason that kind of bugs me how I want to evolve it so bad is it's just due to the fact it's not able to evolve yet and it's our only uh, main four member that isn't fully evolved at this point now. But regardless, hopefully in the next couple videos we can get to Agron. Yeah, we're not. Just gotta hope the EXP is good, right? Yeah. But, uh, anyways, we're on 7 now, so we're getting pretty close to getting to the end of it. Like I said, it was just kind of a quick and short one because there wasn't really much to talk about without their being a uh, silk chamber or secret rooms or anything like that so it kind of just flies by really and I forgot to mention this is the f well I did mention it but if I haven't this is the first dungeon that you are able to get um, pink shellos shuckle and corefish so if you're looking for one of those this is the place you want to go to um, other than that I think the stairs are gonna probably be somewhere right over here um, no hmm must have pat up oh, that would yep that would do it Alright, let's get this corefish dead. Kill this marrow for one last kill, and once you reach here, there are two different pathways you can take. Of course, make sure you have an open slot for surf, and we are gonna right now, right here, teach it to our um, B barrel. So now we have surf. And I'll mention it is a five tile AoE and it will hit team members. So make sure you do not hit or use this move with teammates because you will hit them that way. Now, I'll quickly show uh, this. Y um, if you come down here and use this, it, or surf here, you're actually going to get to our next dungeon. I want to see if we can go back. I think you can. Yeah, you can. So you reach South Outpost Island. Right here is the entrance to the next dungeon, and that way leads to another dungeon, but that gets us to another region, so we are not going to really cover that part yet. However, if you choose to go up this way, you will get warped back here to the crossroads. If you do it, what I just did, that is actually the way that it counts Mineral Cavern being beaten. You have to take those, sta uh, that little stairwell kind of thing. Otherwise, I believe it does not count Mineral Cavern as beaten. The other way, yeah. So that's all that Mineral Cavern really is. So in the next part, I'm going to get back to South Outpost Island in that little place and we will do the next dungeon which is called Southern Sea so I will see you guys then hey guys it's shiny Zekrom thought I'd update you on some stuff that's happened so I've definitely done a lot of training in the past uh, couple days after I finished the Pitch Black Abyss video so here's everything that I've done as you see right here, Torterra has gone from 36 to 40. We have Starbright here, the Starmie, who went from 37 to 40. On the first egg that I hatched from our PBA video where I picked up those eggs, 
first one actually got me what I wanted, which was this Murkrow, which after it hatched from its egg at level 1, I got it to level 20. Uh, I'll show it off really quick, I guess. This is the current moveset that I have for the Murkrow. Peck, Pursuit, Astonish, and Wing Attack. So, nothing fancy yet, but... Yeah, I thought I'd show that off. We have Houndoom here at level 40, who was 36 before, and our Laron is also 40, who was 36 before. So our main four I got from 36 or 37 all the way to 40, just because I thought it'd be a good point for the next uh, couple videos that we have coming up, which later on we will be doing a dungeon in this part, so stay tuned for that. But we also got this Starly here. Now... This Starly is one I searched for ages for on Zappe, my main character, but I could never get. It's one that had Double Edge and Roost in the same set, because Starly actually has one of its abilities where it uh, moves that do recoil double in damage. So think about that and Roost added together. That's a lot of damage. And if you had Brave Bird to that set, it's really good. But besides Double Edge and Roost, I also have Uproar and Detect on this set. I haven't trained it yet, but I'm going to save it for a special reason later on. Surprisingly, after the run that finished off Houndoom, in that same run there were a couple floors left, so I decided to use Frostlass for those couple floors, and I actually got it up a couple levels to 27 from 25. As you may have seen in our party, Psyduck is now level 33 from 25, so it is able to evolve, which we are going to be doing. And his moves in her moves set right now is the same confusion, water pulse, refresh, and fury swipes. And as you may have seen, we also have our Poliwag, who we hatched from the egg of Lanal Cavern. And it has Bubble Beam, Body Slam, Bubble Beam, another one because it learned it by level up and by egg move, and refresh. Now, we are going to go and evolve. So let's uh, pick up our engraved tablet and head on over right now because I, I think you guys should see these couple evolutions now this would actually oh this poor Bidu who left it alive oh it's dead but it just looks alive ghost ghost anyways um the second part of this uh intro well the second part of this clip is going to be showing you off my storage a little bit because I haven't really updated you guys on my storage and what's in there right now. And I thought it'd be a good idea because I've kept some stuff from PBA as well as Mount Skyla from like SR runs and whatnot or secret room runs and training runs and whatnot. So I thought it'd be a good idea to show off the storage a little bit and show off something I'm going to be doing that you guys can always ask me if you ever see me around. Now first up, let's evolve Poliwag to Poliwhirl here. And since we have the King's Rock Poliwhirl into Politoed. Now Politoed is so good because of its ability, uh, Drizzle. What Drizzle does is every if you enter the floor as Politoed, any weather it is, whether it's clear weather or anything else like that, will change to rainy weather. However, the only way this won't work is if Cloud 9 is somewhere in effect, whether your party member uses it or you or uh, something on the floor has it. Now, Cloud 9 will actually be bypassed by uh, Drizzle only if this case happens. The Cloud 9er enters the floor before the Drizzle. That is the only way it will happen, except for some items that we can get later on, but we won't talk about those right now. Now that we have Politoed, let's get our Psyduck over to a Golduck. So now we have a stronger Cloud Niner that we may train later on, you never know. But yep, there's our evolutions that I wanted to get done as well. So yeah, I've definitely been very busy with Skylift training over this past like last week or so. Now for the other part we're going to show off what we have in storage currently. Also, the reason I'm doing this is Mineral Cavern, I'll say right now, is going to be a very short dungeon. I'm just going to put that out there. But anyways, let's start a tablet. 
and I'll show off some stuff. So like I've gotten Rock Tomb. As you see, I have like family items all over the place. I kept an HM fly just in case. But I have like X-ray specs that I had from PBA. All and I also got a couple Star Three items. I got um as you see the Pit Fang, which is Houndoom's Star Three item, which is to recover from fighting type moves. Team Dragon Tail, that was from Skylift. Lots of family items, a couple stamina bands I kept. Another Dragon Tail. Another. Ooh, excuse me. Another X ray specs from PBA. Some Shadow Claws, Psy Shock Rest. More Shadow Claws, Sludge Bombs. Psy Shock. You know. Another Sludge Bomb, another Rest. Meow Claw. A couple of Reviver Seeds. And here are a couple more Star 3 items that I got. The Starmie Belt, which allows Starmie to recover from Dark type moves. And the Recover Torque, which is Star Use Star 3 item, which increases the HP recovery rate in dungeons with a couple more um, items here. A couple more family items. So yeah, I've got some pretty decent storage. And if you didn't notice our poke, a while ago we actually hit above 100k. We're actually above 130k as of right now. So... Hopefully we can get some more money soon and whatnot, so we can, you know, venture on and buy some good items. But anyways, that's going to do it for the first part of this video. In the next part is when we're actually going to do Mineral Cavern and uh, go through it and talk about everything. So, And that will come later today. So, thanks for watching this first part, and I'll meet you back in part two of this video.